Welcome back to Learn PHP on Code Academy. We're in the ordered arrays section. This is nested arrays. We mentioned that arrays can hold elements of any type. This even includes other arrays. We can use chained operations to access and change elements within a nested array. Here we have nested R, which is assigned this array with three other arrays in it. Here we have first L and it's assigned nested R00. If we echo first L, it prints two. Above nested R is an array with three array elements. The first located at the zeroth index is the array 24. The expression nested R0 returns that array. We then index that array's first element by appending an additional zero. This can take practice to get used to. One helpful technique is to act like the computer. Evaluate each part of the expression from left to right. By breaking down a complex expression into its simpler parts, it becomes easier to understand. Let's walk through a more complicated example. Here we have this very nested array. We want to change the element which is currently lost to found. Let's break down the steps. We need the outermost array first, very nested, index 3, evaluates to the array cat 6.1 with this array 9 string loss, which is what we want. Next, we need the array located at the second location index, very nested, so it'd be 3, 2, evaluates to the array 9 lost and 6. And additionally, the element we're looking for, very nested, would be 3, 2, 1, which would evaluate to lost. We could then access lost and reassign it to found. Let's get some practice with nested arrays. Our instructions say we're going treasure hunting. Hidden within this terribly nested array is a string gold. Your job is to use echo to print it to the terminal. The trick, you must use array indexing to accomplish this goal. It's up to you whether you do this in one step or break it down into multiple steps. Let's do it now. Let's see what's happening here. So we're first accessing index 3, which would be 0, 1, 2, 3. So now we're in this array here. And in this array, we're targeting index 4. So that would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is this other array. From within there, we're going to index 2. So 0, 1, 2. Now we're in the array that contains the string gold. We then target index 0 to grab that string. So we should be able to run this and pass now. And we do pass, and we do get the string gold. So what we're learning here is nested arrays. And we're able to target elements that are nested inside arrays, even when it's an array inside an array. And we can do that by chaining the indexes that we're trying to access to get the final value. This is one of those subjects that will take practice but once you understand that all you're doing is accessing an index within an array, it should be a little bit easier to figure out a problem. And like it mentions down here, it might be a little bit difficult. And the best way to do it is to do it like a computer would do it, which would be evaluate each part of the expression from left to right. By doing this, it becomes easier to understand. As long as you're getting that, you're getting nested arrays, and I'll see you in the next lesson.